guys, how are we getting on? And welcome to episode one of the YouTube series. So myself and Francis were both chatting over the last couple of weeks and we said that this would be a fantastic opportunity for us to uh, do our first ever episode. And what a day to, to bring you guys in, a kind of a behind the scenes footage of, of shoot prep. Do you know, it's been 16 weeks, 16 tough, tough weeks of, of box ticking. Um, but really, really enjoyed the journey, really, really enjoyed the process. And today is going to be all about that and, and showing you how you guys can bring a few couple of tips for you to present the best package on the day, how to warm up effectively, a couple of little tips and strategies to get the most out of your physique on the day. But for me, to be honest, and it sounds a little bit funny to say out loud now, the photo shoot really isn't, I, I don't really ma mind about it. I'm not really um, too bothered about the images. The, the journey that's got me here, the, the discipline, the, the process um, has been the part that I really love and the part that I bought into. Today is just a bit of fun for myself, Francis and, and Ira, to have some cool, cool photos, cool videos and stuff like that and to bring you guys some good content as well. So having a coffee now, had a little bit of water and pre-workout, I'm going to bring you through exactly what I did um, across the last week to be able to peak for today. So peak week protocol. So first and foremost, I always like to start this off and I say this to every single client, no matter what protocols that you have, if it's fat load, if it's linear load, whatever it is, you have to be ready on the day. And I think that trying to get yourself into a really good position early doors, so you have a bit of time to gradually titrate carbohydrates up particularly, um, is always a good, a good thought process. So to get myself here, and I know Francis is gonna hopefully slide these onto, onto the screen now, so I won't have to read out all of them for you. Um, when I finished off about a week ago today, actually, before I started my peak week, we, we finished off at 250 carbs, 225 protein, 40 fat. 200 uh, carbohydrates, 225 protein, and 40 grams of dietary fat on a non-trained day as well, okay? And from there, we just went with one training day only and just simply increased carbohydrates each day. So went to 350 carbs on the Monday, 425 carbs on the Tuesday, 475 carbs on the Wednesday, and um, Thursday then an increase to 500, Friday 550, and, and Sunday and Saturday even, excuse the noise, Saturday was then 600 grams of carbohydrates, okay? And then yesterday we pulled it down a little bit just to dry off a little bit and, and shift some fluid away. And as, as the phrase carbohydrate, carbs will always hold on to a little bit more water. And obviously we want to look a little bit drier, a little bit tighter in the shoot. So we pulled off to 400 grams of carbohydrates yesterday. The one thing that hasn't changed, and this is actually called a linear um, peak, which is slightly different to what I would usually coach, but it's been a great learning experience for me. So if any coaches are watching this, trying to go to a new coach and trying to find out how they actually peak you um, has been such a learning experience for me. And to actually be in the, the shoes of the client this time, rather than me giving out the protocols has been really, really nice. Sodium, potassium, 5,000 milligrams every single day for the last month. Water intake, seven and a half liters every single day for the last month or two. So nothing changes with that. This morning, I just took it as I'm going to do my workout. AJ told me, just go come into your session, water the same, food the same, and caffeine and pre-workout the same. So it's a very, very simple, it's not that sexy, it's not that complicated, it's actually quite easy. And we think that that, that approach has really worked for me and definitely learned a lot in this process. So a couple of little tips that I would advise you guys for your shoot day itself is, I have four in particular. So one is gonna be trial it all before. Like today when I'm walking into here, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I've had two and a half liters of water already. I've had one black coffee. I've had one scoop of, of my pump products. I've had 120 grams of carbohydrates through cream of rice everything and everything I've already trialed before. So know exactly water, fluid, electrolytes, um, food I think I've said or maybe forgot to say there. All of those I've actually trialed before. So I know exactly what I'm gonna to do today before I've even come here. Just takes the stress off not knowing, God, am I gonna spill over? Am I gonna be flat? Am I gonna have too much water and not uh, present the right image on the day? If you've trialed it before and you should trial it before, you should know the outcome then already. Second one, stay warm. Okay, you'll see wearing a jumper. Sorry, I don't mean to hit the mic if I have done that. The jumper 
Um, wearing two jumpers right now. I was going to wear some trousers, but it's actually really hot in Melbourne today. What is it, 20, 24 degrees? So I don't need to wear that. But if you guys are in, I know a lot of you guys will be in Ireland, I tell all my clients, head, hands and feet. Okay, so if you can wear a hat, wear two sets of socks, you know, wear have fluffy socks that you wear around Christmas time, gloves, whatever it is, jumpers, try to stay as warm as you can. Heat is going to be massive for blood flow and we want to increase blood flow. We want to try and drive blood into the muscle tissue. We want to try and get an increase in vascularity because that's going to look better on the day. So stay warm and trial out before. The third one is going to be have some lifts, have some poses that you want to try to do so you don't walk in there and just stare at the photographer, photographer stares at you and say, God, what am I going to do today? Um, we've already thought of some, some lifts to do, some poses we want to do, some places that we want to do them. And we know because we, we've trialed them before. And even if you wanted to go and trial them before and see what they look like, take prop the phone up on a, on a tripod or video it and say, you know what, that really looks good from that angle. I think we're going to do that. So it just, again, takes the stress off the day. I'm, I already talked to Ira about this already, the lifts that we want to do, which is nice. And the last one, and probably the most important one, is just have fun, you know, stay present with it. I know that a lot of clients sometimes come back and goes, God, it was over in a second. Okay, so I'm just really gonna soak it up today. And I've already said to you guys, the photo shoot isn't, I'm not really too bothered about the photos. It's just about having a bit of fun today. The process is what it's been about, but just stay present, enjoy it, and, and, and actually uh, soak up that feeling that you've actually done 16 weeks or 20 weeks of hard work and got you to, the, to today. And, and those will be my four top tips for you guys for um, peaking or for enjoying the shoot day itself. Hey guys, how are we getting on? So we're going to run through exactly what we're going to do here, exercise selection standpoint, before we actually jump into the photo shoot itself. I'm going to try wrap this up in 20, 25 minutes maximum, just so I'm not really fatigued then for the photo shoot, which is the most important part of the day. In terms of exercise selection, really important to try and use exercises that work well for you. So I'm going to use pretty much all the exercises that I've done all through this prep. Um, in terms of like lap pull downs and, and cable chest flies and things, I would probably advise more isolation work and the shortened position. So like a cable chest fly in there really gets a lot of blood flow in that shortened position, gets a lot of neural connection in there and just gets the muscle more pumped in that position rather than maybe doing like a bench press or something like that. And also the risk of injury there is gonna be much, much higher. Two, one to two working sets per muscle, really, really quick. Loads of blood flow, keeping the jumper on, lots of heat, and then ready to rock into the photo shoot itself. So guys, final tip for you as well is to just train like you're actually training. Pretend, pretend the photos aren't there, pretend the video isn't there. 
that's what yields my best pump. I know that the after pump session, and I do kind of wishy-washy, you know, 20, 30 reps, where it's not really to failure, I don't really get anywhere near as good of a pump as if I train as hard as I can. So I've come in today with the mindset, AJ said, go in with the mindset that you're actually just training without the, without the show, without the shoot, um, or the video at all. Just go in and train as hard as you can for as long as you can in the set, and that's what always, always yields the best pump in my opinion. that I, I know in here. Yeah. Oh, please don't be anyone. <laughs> one, we'll take one person. If I came in here at about two o'clock, I don't want to see it. All of the lads would just be around here. Yeah. We're around me. Get a monster, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's 
the best one I reckon, eh? Yes. Rather yeah. than there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Too much after this stuff? Train. Gotta work out. Um uh, there's a shit ton of stuff. So guys, that's a wrap for episode number one. I th want to thank all of you for taking the time out of your days to tune in. Hope you guys took some value for that. If you are running a photo shoot prep, hopefully you took some kind of take home points to how to optimize your physique 
and, and present the best image on the day. That was so much fun in here. The guys really, really helped me through it as well and just had a lot of fun during the whole time. So I want to again thank you guys for uh, watching. Please like, comment and sub subscribe and all that YouTube stuff as well. Um, we're going to introduce the next uh, episode is going to be the first episode of the new season. It's going to be called the improvement season and this is going to be the process of me trying to add as much muscle tissue in my frame. We're going to run through the, the what, the why and the how and with exercise program selection, with what exercise we're doing, why we're doing them and how we're doing them as well to give you as much value as you possibly can. So until next time guys, thanks so much.